Heat maps allow you to visualize relationships between data categories and draw attention to hot spots of activity and trends. Rectangle colors vary depending on how a particular data point fits into the specified data ranges. These types of charts require three data columns or rows from the data source. Two of these contain category data and the other contains the values for each category pair. In this example, the percentage change for each cell is represented by varying shades of color, each of which corresponds to a specific range. We can see the ranges in the legend below the chart. Ranges are determined automatically based on the distribution of values in the dataset. However, we can specify our own ranges by going into Chart Properties and selecting Ranges. Here we can choose the minimum and maximum value for each range, as well as the color for each range. For example, we might want the category pairs in range 1 to stick out the most, since they are the pairs that are the most concerning. So we'll make these values red. We can also change the default colors of the heat map by clicking Theme and picking a different color scheme. Or we can create a diverging map with two sets of color ranges, one above and one below the midpoint. For example, let's set the upper color theme to green, the lower color theme to red, set the midpoint color to yellow, and set the number of ranges below the midpoint to two. We can easily turn on and off diverging colors by checking or unchecking the box next to show. Now say we want to see the value of each cell. We click on data label settings, and then next to text, click on the plus icon and scroll down to value. And now we can see the percent value for each individual cell. To customize our heat map further, we can go to the general settings. Here we can change the font size, determine the inner margins, which allows us to set the amount of space in pixels that separate the cells in the heat map, adjust the map to include a balanced number of items within each range, and disable the animation of the chart. We can also override the maximum value, which lets us specify the maximum value for the heat map rather than the highest value in the dataset, which is the default, and reverse the color direction of the map. If we have some cells without any data, we can also customize the message that's displayed in those cells by typing in this field here. Tell your business story more effectively with Domo's customized heat maps.